Hi, and welcome to the November 2018 energy update. I'm really loving this one because it almost feels a little bit like a vacation. <laughs> this update has to deal with um, pretty much allowing yourself to travel out into other dimensions during your sleep, right? Being open to um, what is showing up for you, even if you're not even sure what that is, kind of being in that really receptive place to allow beyond the ego mind, beyond the intellect, those things that want to come to you to be manifest in your life. And the last card really is all about having fun. So it's more about um, being and enjoying and just allowing yourself to be grateful for the simplest things and to find ways to really light yourself up, to really light yourself up, right? <laughs> Bring in that light because where there is light, there is no fear and doubt and worry and all those lower emotions. So that's what this reading is all about. So stick around and I'll go into that a little more in detail. Hi, for those who don't know me, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach. And right now I wanna share with you the update for November, the energy update um, that came through me through choosing a couple of different Oracle cards. And I'm really looking forward to this month, I have to tell you, because it really is all about, you know, pretty much lightening up and allowing things to flow, um, being in that receptive state to um, have your solutions and things come to you. Um, so let's get into the reading. I'm actually going to uh, read, read, I'm going to read from each deck because uh, I feel like the words that are written here with this card are just perfect. Okay, so this one, it's time lapses. This is very short and sweet. So it says, when asleep, you can travel to different dimensional vibrations. Don't be afraid of what is already part of your transformational cha change. Time is only man-made, so enjoy the liberty and freedom of timelessness and absorb what is being given to you. Be open to learning new things about yourself and the universe. Um, yeah, I like to use my sleep time um, in two ways. In one way, I, I just, you know, the, the me, the spirit of me, who is leaving the body and just traveling out in these other dimensions, I kind of call it going to night school, you know? So if I have something I'm working on, I might just say, you know, um, show me or teach me how to blah, blah, blah better, you know, or like um, what lesson, or sometimes I just leave it up to my guides. I'm like, Listen, just take me wherever I need to go to learn whatever's next for me on my path. You know, I just kind of set it up in some way and um, just trust that it's gonna happen. Now I'm a person who doesn't really remember dreams that well. Sometimes I do, but not that often. Um, so, you know, I just trust, even if I don't know what I might've seen or experienced or felt um, that I'm getting it. And, you know, it's beyond the intellect anyway, right? I'm getting out of that ego mind. It doesn't exist when you're out there, just floating through time. Um, so yeah, so that's a fun card. And the next card that came up right after this one is perfect too. And this one is yin yang. I mean, they're always perfect. I, I don't think there's ever a reading that could not be perfect. Um, so that's yin yang. And this one is all about, you know, being receptive, right? So it says this card represents an energetic life cycle and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cyclic energy moving into or out of your experience. In the upright position, it heralds a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things, <laughs> which goes right along with that first card where like this stuff is happening while you're sleeping. Oh, I forgot to mention the other part of what I do when I go to sleep then is I ask for a healing for my physical body while I'm out there traveling and learning and experiencing new things. You can do that. You can do anything. I mean, we're the creators, right? Okay, so it says, this is a time of great receptivity, intuition, and gestation. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity. 
It's an especially good time for completion. So wrapping things up is a good thing. Yin cycle often calls you to be passive, yielding and reflective. So open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. Um, yeah, being, just allowing things to, to happen, getting out of that subconscious mind that's dictating to you how things have to be or telling you that you're doing it wrong because the mass consciousness, most people do it this other way. You're supposed to do this, then you're supposed to do that, then you're supposed to do that. And you know, your soul might be saying, no, I'm going to do it my way because I trust my inner guidance to lead me. So it's just finding that trust for yourself. And, and you know, that's easy. That's I can help you with that. I help people with that all the time. Okay, so the third card, have fun. Okay, it shows like a carnival picture. Have fun. Um, let's read that one. It says the answer is simple, have fun. It's important to keep the inner light of your spirit shining bright in order to remain uplifted in dark negative ego in a dark negative ego based world. So yeah, all of these cards are really talking about being receptive to that light, allowing that inspiration to guide you. Um, so because you know your ego mind, it's it's going to be a struggle. And even when there's the good points there, if you're in that lower energy, you can't really recognize it can't see it because you're too busy being stuck in a lower vibe so that's why you want to just let it go allow the inspiration to come and then boom the ideas are just there solutions just fall into place so the best way it says to go on it says the best way to do this is to intentionally surround yourself with things that delight the spirit in every way so fuel your inner light with some good old-fashioned fun connect with any sound sense taste textures, flavors, and friends that amuse your inner child. You know, that inner child that knows how to manifest is easy. They come, we come here knowing this stuff. It's our true nature. And it gets a little squashed out of us by the well-meaning, most, most cases, well-meaning big people who are trying to avoid us from living their mistakes, right? So they kind of dump conditions on us so that thinking is going to help us to avoid whatever they've been through. I and mean, that's basically usually how it happens. You can't fault them for that. Um, it's just, it didn't really support you. You know, we come here knowing and really connected to inner guidance when we lose our way. So now we're all working on fine. If you're here watching this video, you are you know that that wasn't true. And you know that there is truth within you that wants to come out, this light that wants to experience this life and manifest wonderful things and help other people to do the same. That's what it's all about. So... It says, step away from the drudgery, duty, mindless tasks and responsibility for an hour, for a day, and do something spontaneous and frivolous. The light of your spirit is that of your inner child. Ask what it would like to do today. You know, just if you could let your inner child out to play for five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, a whole day, what would it like to do? Sometimes the answer doesn't come too quick because we don't allow ourselves that opportunity that often, right? So we got to get back in the groove of allowing ourselves to do that. Um, it says it may be something as simple as watching a comedy, going shopping, taking a new car out for a test drive, trying on hats, sunglasses in a department store, or having a picnic in on the living room floor. <laughs> Not even going anywhere. So whatever it is, do it. Break from the convention and routine and do something out of the box. The ego disdains frivolity, yet it's the most direct path to joy. Oh, this is so important. I'm so glad that this card is coming up. Be frivolous, lighten up, have fun, be silly. It will refuel your light. Yeah, you know what? I'm looking forward to that because uh, I know in the last week I allowed, I allowed that ego-based stuff to kick in again. And, uh, you know, sometimes I can flip it like this, easy. Sometimes I can't so easy and, and, and I realize not always when I'm in it, but I realize that there's a purpose to that too, because there's something that I was processing, something I needed to let go, something I needed to look a little deeper at. And of course, when I can't see it for myself, <laughs> I have to go to someone else who, who can see it better than me. So, you know, I go to my own coach. Um, but anyway, that's the reading. So I think 
just just do that. Let, let's pretend for as long as we can, um, or the whole month of November. <laughs> let's let that inner child out. Let's allow ourselves to explore, you know, like really exploring those outer dimensions, whether it is when you're sleeping or even meditating each day. I mean, start getting in a habit of meditating each day because when you can connect to that energy, even for a little bit of time, it really does make everything else flow. It keeps that kind of subconscious mind uh, at a minimum, you know, like it's easier to be like, no, nope, sorry, cancel that. It's not my reality. I'm not doing that. I'm not going there, right? Um, anyway, that's the reading for November. So have fun this month. Really allow yourself to lighten up in the very best way. I mean, to really, to bring in light, to connect to light. Because when you're having fun, you're connecting to the light, okay? It doesn't have to just be in meditation. It's whenever you're in those higher vibrations, you are more and more connected. And I'm sorry for my dogs, but luckily this is the end of the video. And so I will end here. Please like, share, subscribe, and um, hit that bell. I'd love to also have comments. And, you know, maybe they're just like kind of ringing the bell for this reading to say, yeah, right on, go for it. I think they're chiming in because, you know, dogs are just full of love. Oh, and now we're howling. We're bringing in some tones. This is fun. All right. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.